What's good, my student physicians? It's your boy, DJ Mara here, back at it with another video. Today, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, I got a couple requests on, um, on some of my other videos to do a video about the HPSP stipend and the sign-on bonus and really break down like how much that money actually is and if it's enough to live on, if it's better to live on. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about that and why don't we go ahead and get right to it. All right, guys, before we get started, if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, Student Physician Network's all about, you know, talking about this HBSB scholarship, giving you guys the information that you need to make an informative decision on whether this program is right for you, because it's not right for everybody, but I think it's very beneficial um, for, you know, the people that do want to go into it. Um, with that in mind, hit that subscribe button, comment down below any questions you have about uh, the stipend or anything. Um, Make sure you check out some of my other videos about COT and about um, what it's like to be in med school as an HPSB student. And let's get started. So right away, I think one of the biggest things that people think of when they, um, when they think about HPSB is that $20,000 sign-on bonus. And you know, when you're talking to a recruiter, they're going to be selling that bonus, they're gonna be selling that stipend, talking you know, a lot about it. But there's some things that you need to keep in mind. So first off, that twenty thousand dollars is, um, it's it's not taxed. So you're not going to get an entire twenty thousand dollar check just out of nowhere. You're going to get it in three installment payments, and that's going to be right when you start med school. Um, I got mine probably a week after I started med school, and I got three payments after that in three weeks. So uh, just just so you guys can get. Um, just so you guys can get this. So my first check I got was $6,889. Then a week later, I got another check for $5,840. And then another check after that for $2,920. But that one also involved my regular stipend. So that one was actually, you know, like with the stipend, you take out 1,050. And so altogether, I actually only got $14,600 just about for that $20,000 sign on bonus and then the rest went into taxes. Now, when you go into file for your taxes after, you know, after the year's end, I think I got around $2500 to $3000 back just from the just from the sign-on bonus, and that's not including the other taxes that I received back from the stipend. So, all in all, you're probably getting around 1650 or $1700 for that entire $20,000 sign-on bonus. Um, which isn't bad, but that's just something else to keep in mind. Now, for the stipend, uh, on the website here, the fact sheet states that you get around, um, let's see here. So on the fact sheet, it says you get an annual salary of $20,000 and broken down, that's $22.79 and 10 cents per month for 10 and a half months, that's your stipend. And you get that by like by month, or what do you call it? You get that in two, twice in, in one month, you get paid twice in one month. And so, but really after taxes for me, it's 1,050, 77 on the first of the month and on the 15th of the month, I get paid that. And that comes out to just around $2,100 a month to, to spend on your rent, on groceries, food, everything. Um, I think to me it comes out a little bit more than what I would be getting if I was just taking loans like some of my friends are. Um, I'd say I have you know about two three hundred dollars more in, of spending money per month and I usually just take that money and just put it aside and just keep putting it in my savings account or paying off 
you know, a lot of like bills and, and all that stuff. Um, so I'd say like I'm, I can, on this stipend, you can live very comfortably and that bonus is very nice because like, let's say you have a car payment, like I use the rest of my bonus to pay my car off. And so now I have even more money just to have, you know, whether to save it or to do whatever with, because now I don't have a car payment. And I think it's, it's, it's really one less thing that I have to stress about in school that say some of my classmates um, have to ration out their, their loans for the entire year. And that's not something I'm really worried about. I just go by month by month. Um, so I think that's really nice that I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, as for the summer, so you only get that stipend for 10 and a half months and the other, um, the other month and a half or so, you get paid officer salary. And that's if you're going on, you know, that's when you're doing your rotations abroad or you're going to officer school or this summer I'm going to AMP, which is Aerospace Medi uh, Medical Practicum 101. That's what, it, that's what it's called, AMP 101. And I'm just taking a two week class, going there, learning about Air Force medicine, and but I'm still getting paid for 45 days during that two week period. And that starts at the end. At the end of that two week class, they count back 45 days and then they start your pay right there. And that will be on 01 salary, which I believe is somewhere around $55,000 a year. So whatever that is, you know, broken down it by month, monthly for a month and a half, and then you take out taxes. It'll be uh, a little bit more than what I'm making on a stipend, but so that's nice. And the the program website, the HPSP fact sheet, I'll link this down in the uh, down in the comments below or in this in the description below. And it says it's around twenty-eight thousand dollars yearly. Um, I think that's I think that's about right. Um, so some of the things I have on here. So when does this pay start? So you start you start it. Um, they should start paying you right when you start school. So when you start school, your stipend should kick in. Now I know some people that I met at officer school. They were having trouble with this. Um, they were having they were having a little bit of problems with when their pay was starting. Uh, mine started right away, but um, that's just something else you might have to worry about is, you know, are they gonna pay me on time right away? And they, and most of the time they do, but sometimes uh, things happen and they get a little bit backed up. Um, so another thing, so when do I, you start getting your bonus? Now, sometimes your recruiter will say that you'll get your bonus right when you sign. That's not true. They might say that you'll get it during officer school. That's also not true. Um, you're going to get your bonus in three, three installment payments right when you start medical school. And now mine came in right when I started medical school, but I also know some people that I met at officer school who also had problems with their bonus coming in on time. And, but they ended up getting all of it. And, but it was just like, I think one girl got hers about a month after her school started. So there's some variability, but they should be paying you right when school starts. Um, so I think going back to what I was talking about, about living comfortably, I think it's nice. Um, there are some things that you have to worry about as for starting the program. So I didn't know about the unexpected expenses that I was going to get when I went to officer school. And it kind of caught me off guard. Otherwise I would have been saving for it because I thought I was gonna get my pay right away, and I didn't. I went two weeks into officer school without getting paid. Um, but, so that's, the unexpected expenses was like my uniforms. I thought, my recruiter said that they were gonna take care of my uniforms, and they didn't. And that's my ABUs, so I'm wearing, what I'm wearing right now. Um, my mess dress, and um, my blues, so. Two really expensive suits, three pairs of ABUs, three pairs of workout gear, boots, shoes, socks. Uh, I think it came around $1,700 that I wasn't expecting to pay for. So that's just something else to keep in mind. If you're going to officer school, make sure you have some money set away to buy all of your uniforms. Um, but other than that, I don't have any other uh, expenses I have to worry about. Military usually takes care of everything. Uh, they take care of your flights, take care of your lodging. That's something I don't have to worry about. Uh, 
But so on uh, my last point, is it enough to live on? I, you know, I think it's comfortable. Like I said, I have enough money to put away a little, a little bit each month. That's not something that any of my friends on loans can say. They have to take out the minimum that they can and make that last, you know, the entire school year or the entire semester. And I think that's something that's difficult because you don't want to take out more if you're on loans because then you're gonna to have to pay that money back on interest and that just becomes messy. So I really appreciate that. That's just one stress that I don't have to worry about, but I think it's very beneficial. So anyway, if you guys aren't a part of the family, please hit that subscribe button. Comment down below any questions you have about the stipend or the sign-on bonus or any other questions you have about HPSP, whether you have any suggestions for future videos. I really like to get your guys' input on this. This channel is for you guys. I'm not doing this because it's, you know, I like, I like making videos like this, but like, you know, I'm doing this for you guys so you guys can make an informed decision on whether this program's good for you. Um, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe. Anyway, student physician out.